Hey everyone, this is Stuart with Three Dogs in an RV, and I have a very special update for you right after this. So hey everyone, this is Stuart with Three Dogs in an RV. Missy and the dogs are just sitting over there, and but I wanted to get a quick video out. Since last week when we published our Starlink video, major, major changes have come to the Starlink world for our beers. So I was out tonight uh, at our weekly trivia night at the Beef O'Brady's in Arcadia, Florida, and I got an email from a very good friend of mine out in California, and he said, hey, Stuart, have you seen this? And I went, no, I just signed up last week, or two or three weeks ago, but I got my service up and running last week. Now, what I know, I'll open up my emails and, and show you the email that I got from my friend Luis Alvarez, who runs a great uh, IT company out in Salinas, California, alvareztg.com. Feel free to check out his website. But Luis sent me this email announcing Starlink for RVers or Starlink for RVs. So as of now, you can sign up for Starlink if you're in an RV. Pause the service, uh, unpause the service when you're on the road, um, pay for the, you know, whatever the service costs are. The, in the, the, the price of the unit, if I click on the link here, it doesn't look any cheaper than uh, if you were, uh, uh, you know, signing up for it regular. I don't know why it comes up and says I'm not available in my current uh, area. But if I went to RVers, which I'm on, and I put my shipping address, I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, on my phone, it worked normally. Anyway, so you can sign up for Starlink for the RV, pay the 700-ish dollars for the service and get it immediately. Now, Starlink claims, i go back to the email here, that there'll be some issues with availability, uh, prioritizing residential users, um, and there might be... Uh, some uh, degradation of service in those areas that they mark as wait list. Uh, so you could, if you have Starlink already in your RV, you could order another one. I got, I did get a follow up. I did get an email from Starlink. Uh, I put a support request in, and they responded with, "Thanks for connecting with us about Starlink for RVs. They are excited to announce the RV customer immediate access to Starlink. Blah 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 blah. We can add another." Location to our account, therefore, pay for another Starlink. But I'm a full-time RVer, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and they don't, as of right now, uh, this is May 23rd, 2022, and the recording of this video, they are not going to transfer existing Starlink accounts to Starlink for RV. So if you're paying for the service plus roaming or portable, I guess if you have that, you're going to continue to pay for it. Uh, I think, may, I don't, again, I don't know the fee structure on how that's going to work for RVs. Um, here's their uh, support article here uh, for all of it. Uh, you know, there's some, yeah, basically it's a best effort service. Um, no in motion use, which makes sense. Here's their service uh, information. Um, what else can we highlight here? Uh, no, I can no, no in motion. Um, where can you get the service? Do you have to look at the availability map? Um, see where the service is. So here's the portability features and policies. This is the extra twenty five dollars that you pay for portability. Again, I can't see here anywhere where it says that RVers will have to follow that. I'm going to assume to err on the side of caution that you would. Um, yeah, if you don't have an RV, you can still use Starlink. Just it's prohibited for when you're in motion. Um, yeah, so it looks like you're still going to have to add portability. If you name a portability on May the 12th, your next billing date will be, yeah, kind of makes sense. Um, so it looks like you're going to need portability outside of your core area. 
So yeah, still lots to figure out with this, but uh, it's promising. They, you know, I wish, <laughs> I wish I would have waited a month now, but eh, that's what happens. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's the way it is in, in today's world. Uh, technology changes. I've been in the technology world for twenty five years. Technology changes in a heartbeat. All right, so Starlink for RVs. Uh, if you go to starlink.com slash RV, you can uh, get more information uh, for this uh, service. It's good to see. Uh, I know the industry has been buzzing about this for a while. So, and it's so new. I literally just found out about it two hours ago. So I'm making this video two hours after I learned about it from my friend, Luis Alvarez. Uh, and it looks like, and according to this email here, you cannot transfer your existing Starlink service to uh, the Starlink 4RV. Again, I don't know what the pricing model is. I'd like to see over you know next month or so how that pricing model, um, you know, dictates if it's going to be one hundred and ten dollars or one hundred and ten plus the twenty five for portability for those that are roaming. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. I'm a full time RVer anyway, so I'm going to need full time service. I'm not going to be pausing the service like like an average you know part time RV person would be. You know, going home to a normal house. Uh, for a week and then going out in the you know camping on the weekends uh, we're gonna we we use it all the time we're on starlink you know every day you know working during the day and also using it to stream video and youtube tv and amazon prime tv at night so it works great for that so i don't see any major changes for us uh from a full-time perspective but it's promising to see that uh you know it is out there and thanks to my friend good friend Luis alvarez i'll link to alvarez technology group's website for letting me know and i know lewis is going to be on the radio in salinas california talking about this in the next week or so as soon as i get that uh link i will share that uh in this in the description below so my name's Stuart with three dogs at rv thanks for tuning into this very special update again it's gonna be rough uh and uh but i wanted to get this information out there for you since we just did a starling video last week on how we got it so quickly i'm not gonna say it's not still useful it probably is for full-timers, but for those that are part-timers, this is great. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below, and we'll see you in a future video.